11 Harry Potter Facts from TodayIFoundOut.com Number 1. The first person to play Dumbledore in the Harry Potter films, Golden Globe winner Richard Harris, wasn't just an extremely accomplished actor, but also a successful musician. He even had a hit single back in the 1960s with the song MacArthur Park, which managed to reach number 4 on the UK charts and number 2 on the Billboard Hot 100. Number 2. J.K. Rowling slightly based 11-year-old Hermione on herself at the same age. She even made Hermione's Patronus her favorite animal, an otter. The otter wasn't just a good choice because of Rowling's preferences, but also because the otter is a member of the weasel family. Further, Ron's Patronus is a Jack Russell Terrier, which were bred to help in hunting foxes, groundhogs, badgers, and other animals that live in underground dens, including river otters. Number 3. The actor who played Professor Flitwick, Warwick Davis, also played Griphook. Outside of Harry Potter, he's perhaps best known for starring in the phenomenal movie Willow, as well as playing Wicket the Ewok in Return of the Jedi. In The Phantom Menace, in the scenes where Yoda was walking around, Warwick Davis also played Yoda. Number 4. The late Michael Jackson once approached J.K. Rowling about the possibility of doing a musical version of Harry Potter. J.K. Rowling said no to the idea. Number 5. The actress who played Moaning Myrtle, Shirley Henderson, was 37 years old at the time Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets was filmed, the oldest actress to portray a Hogwarts student. She was previously best known for her role as Gale in Train Spotting and Jude in Bridget Jones's Diary. Number 6. Daniel Radcliffe's stunt double through the first six Harry Potter films, David Holmes, was paralyzed from the waist down during the sixth film while practicing a flying scene that included an explosion. Number 7. So many people were mispronouncing Hermione's name that J.K. Rowling had the character sounded out for Victor Crumb in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Number 8. M. O. McGonagall is listed on one of the Quidditch trophies in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, on the same team as James Potter. Number 9. J.K. Rowling's publisher suggested she use initials rather than her real name, Joanne Rowling, in order to appeal to male readers. She chose J.K., borrowing the K from her grandmother's name, Kathleen. Neither Kathleen nor K are a part of J.K. Rowling's legal name. Number 10. Rupert Grint dressed up like his female drama teacher and rapped about Ron Weasley for his audition tape for Harry Potter. His rap began, Hello, my name is Robert Grint, and I hope you don't think I stink. Catchy. Number 11. In order to become more acquainted with the film's three main stars, director Alfonso Cuaron had each of them write an essay about their characters. True to their role, Emma Watson wrote a 16-page essay, Daniel Radcliffe wrote a simple one-page paper, and Rupert Grint never turned his in. So I really hope you liked that video, and if you did like it, click like below and leave us a comment to let us know what you think. And also check out a couple of our other videos, which are linked to on the screen now, and don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos every day. Thanks for watching.